Okay guys, so I'm gonna be filming the life in a day thing on YouTube. Um, if you don't know what it is, uh, then you're not on YouTube enough. Um, and yes, I'm wearing broken glasses. <laughs> Anyways, this piece fell out and I tried to glue it back in. Eventually it fell out again and shit happens. Yay! Turn the music down since music can't be in the video. Um, yeah! Anyways, on my way to work, I uh, gotta cash my check. Um, you stupid dummy. You would pull out in front of me. Sorry. I hate drivers. Um, but anyways, guys, on my way to work, um, vlogging the ride away. Um, but I'm doing this life in the day thing, and I just want to, I mean, you guys can check out my website and learn more about me, um, if you wish. That's danthemanforever.com. That's with the number four, Dan the Man. Number four, ever.com. Basically, I'm a 24-year-old professional actor. Um, you know, I was a, I'm a former theater and philosophy major at U of M, and I actually dropped out so that I could work full-time to get my own place and move out of my mom's house. And so I've done that, and I hope to someday go back to school, finish up, get them, and, and eventually I want to have a master's in theater, um... And I want to have a PhD in philosophy, but I'm not sure what branch yet, whether it's maybe environmental or religious studies. Um, I'm not really sure, but that is my future hope. Um, on top of being a very successful, famous actor, um, that's my, my main goal is to be a famous actor in Hollywood. That's my dream. So, and I know it's a long ways away, but you know what? I'm going to go for it and nobody's going to stop me. Nobody will stop me. Okay, maybe this red truck that just pulled in front of me will stop me. But nobody else will stop me! <laughs> Even he won't stop me. I will go around. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Um, also, duly noted is my new uh, phrase, um, gravy train in the pie face. Um, it actually originated out of when, when I do something... Or when I'm like really super excited or when I finally figure something out, I just blurt like the most crazy, strangest, weirdest, most <sighs> random thing ever. Like I could say, holy white sign that says 45 miles per hour when workers present. See? Holy orange and white barreled cones. <clears throat> See, just funny stuff like that. Oh, eggs. Okay, guys, just really random funny shit like that. Just really random... S so that's that's where it originated from. Just really random stuff that I like to say that's funny. And people find it hilarious. So Gravy Train and the Pie Face stuck. And the more I said it, the more people laughed. And bada bing, bada bang, bada bong, bing bang. <laughs> hey. What's up? Hey, guys, what's up? Um. Oh, that's my light. Anyways, um, just get out of work. Well, actually, I've actually been out of work for a while. Man, one tomorrow, so I'm looking for the blah, 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 blah. Anywho, um, really funny story. I'm just going to give you the gist. Just. <laughs> um, uh, we have a locker at work where we kind of lock our stuff up, you know. And I got done with break, and I locked my stuff up. But I didn't know that I'd put my keys in the little baggie in the, like, Kessel Kroger Meyer Walmart bag I have, little bag with handles. Look kind of like that. Anyways, um, I didn't know that I ex that I put my keys in there and I locked the lock and locked them inside the locker. Okay, well I didn't discover it until I was ready to go on break and I went to go unlock my locker and I didn't have my keys, so I'm panicking. Where are my keys? Where are my keys? I'm at the. Okay, maybe they're in the locker. So I oh I'm trying. I didn't open it. So I went in the locker and I I'm like looking at the bag. And I'm like, well, I don't know. I think I see them. So I taped, got some tape, and I got two of the little knives, plastic knives. I taped them together, and I kind of poked. And uh, I pulled the bag out through this little one inch by, like, one inch, maybe half. Actually, I think it's an inch by a half inch hole that's, like, peppered with these holes, you know. And I pulled the bag out piece by piece, and then I saw the keys. So I poked the knife in, got the keys, the knives. Excuse me. Hello, Daniel. Anyways, got the knife, got the keys. And, and it's these keys right here. See how it's got... I got the blue thing, and I got this key off this blue thing through surgical precision. 
I got it off the blue ring, then I got the ring part way through, enough where the key was through the hole, and I slid the key off. The ring was too big to actually fit. This ring right here was too big to fit through the hole, so I had to kind of, you know, mess with it, and I got the key out, and I unlocked the lock and got my keys out. It was just incredible. Everybody's looking at me like, holy crap, how the heck did you do that? You know, they're like just stunned that I did it, and you know, I, hey, what can I say? I'm that's me. I'm problem solver. Hey.